First, I want to thank Nando V Movies for coming up with the one marvelous scene idea. I've loved his channel for a while, so it's exciting to be able to pseudo collaborate on his project. For Nexace's contribution, I would like to discuss a seemingly simple scene that actually has some layers from a real world application. I'm talking about the scene that fits the theme of this channel the scene where Ultron wires Ulysses Claw billions of dollars to purchase his stolen vibranium. Claw is the only person to have gotten away with such a volume of that precious substance. Due to it being a closed market with Wakanda hoarding the entire supply, the price of vibranium can be set as high as Claw wants. He controls the available supply of the market. Ultron is looking to create a more versatile physical body and desires a vibranium regardless of the cost. He also happens to be digitally present in the interconnected world. Claw states that it's worth billions. Ultron takes a second, does some processing and says, Now so are you. We then see Claw check his phone and see multiple transactions for billions of dollars being alerted to him from his bank. So what just happened? Where and how does Ultron get billions of dollars? How does Claw receive these dollars? Well, I'm glad you asked. Ultron, being omnipresent in the internet, has access to all things connected. Specifically for this, however, he has access to three key things. One, global banking records. Two, global governmental records. And three, control of all banking systems and digital infrastructure. So, Ultron firstly needs to find a few billion dollars. In order to reduce traceability of any digital transaction, Ultron would not have stolen the money from anywhere. Because he controls the banking infrastructure, he would have created the money digitally. Similar to how a bank creates money when they make a loan to a person or a company. When the loan is paid back with interest, the money created is digitally disposed. In finance speak, bankers call this expanding the balance sheet. So Ultron would have expanded the balance sheet of the Federal Reserve Bank of the United States because it seemed like he was using US dollars for the transaction. Once the money was created, he would have to figure out where to route it. Having access to all government and banking records, he would be able to cross-reference and dig into layers upon layers of documents like shell company charters and their associated bank accounts to determine where Claw kept his money. Once figuring that out, he would wire the money. Wiring the money means sending it through an interconnected digital system that connects international bank accounts. There are several such systems, including Fedwire, Chips, Ripple. However, I believe Ultron would have used the SWIFT system. SWIFT stands for the Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunications and is a sprawling messaging network used by investment banks, trading firms, and 10,000 other such financial institutions to expeditiously, accurately, and securely send and receive information such as transfer instructions. Over 24 million such instructions are sent daily. Also, by controlling the banking infrastructure, Ultron would have superseded monitoring systems that are in place for alerting bankers of suspicious monetary activities through such things as know your customer protocols and other anti-money laundering checks. One major repercussion, Ultron, by creating this amount of new money, will have caused some inflation and devaluation of currency. However, this would happen only after Claw spends the money for resources. If it sits in his account, this wouldn't be a problem since it's not in circulation. Inevitably, Claw becomes a billionaire before being killed by Killmonger as shown in Black Panther, and Ultron's vibranium becomes Vision thanks to the Avengers. On a side note, this definitely makes Vision the most expensive android of all time. Thank you for the privilege of your time. My channel is new. I focus on financial topics, business topics, anything under the umbrella as found in media through explanations and video essays. I just started a Patreon page with the link in the description below. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Nexus Network. Please subscribe. Hoping to have intellectual conversations with you all in the future. Thank you. Dummy Holdings Finance is so weird. But I always say, keep your friends rich and your enemies rich and wait to find out which is which.